Good morning. My name is Frederick Haynes. I serve as chair of the Sammy DeWitt Proctor Conference, a group of a coalition of pastors and leaders, faith-based leaders from across the country. And we're standing here in solidarity with workers uh, all across this country. Please now, uh, since I am a pastor, I hope you don't mind if I open us up with prayer. Oh God, we thank you and praise you for the fact that you are passionately preoccupied with the plight of those, oh God, who find themselves struggling because they work hard and yet oftentimes are not rewarded. We thank you and praise you for the fact that your son declared that a nation will be judged based on how it treats the least of these and how we want this nation, oh God, to take a good look at itself that we may, oh God, indeed do right by our workers. And so we pray your special blessings upon our time together. May this time be motivational and in a real sense, the beginning of a movement that will make a difference for workers all across this nation. We ask this in the name of that carpenter from Nazareth, Jesus the Christ, we pray, amen. It amazes me that some 50 years after Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., the drum major for justice, stood in this nation only minutes from where we are and declared, I have a dream that Washington, D.C., sadly and sinfully, has become a funder of taxpayer monies being used to fund inequality as it relates to workers' rights. How Dr. King must be saddened to think about the fact that 45 years after he stood in Memphis, Tennessee, standing by the workers, the sanitation workers there in Memphis, the fighting fighting in a real sense their nightmare of impoverishment. Dr. King now looks upon us sadly because unfortunately the gap between the have-gots and the have-nots is widening and to make matters worse when we look at the federal government, the federal government has the audacity to use taxpayer dollars to fund this growing inequality. And so we are gathered here today to say no more. We are gathered here today to say, Mr. President, we want you to use, amen, we want you to use the power of your office and by executive order, we are declaring it's time for workers in this nation, workers particularly here who are funded by the federal government, no longer find themselves at the bottom, but instead may the floor begin to rise so that all of us can have a part of the American dream. And with that being the case, of course, I stand here as one who is faith-based. And you do recognize that as one who is is faith-based. The Savior I served was concerned about the plight of the least of these. Don't forget to check out that passage in Matthew 25 where Jesus, after leading the march on Jerusalem, is now kicking it with his boys and simply saying, I want you to check out what the future is going to look like because in the future, check this, you're going to see the, the, you're going to see the king separate the sheep from the goats. And of course, what's referenced here are nations and he says some nations will end up on the right some nations will end up on the left and Jesus will say I was hungry did you feed me thirsty did you give me something to drink a stranger did you allow me in in prison did you come see about me Lord when did we do this in as much as you did it to the least of these you were doing it also unto me and so America we are saying to you don't end up on the wrong side hanging with the goats because you don't know how to treat our workers. And with that being the case, I am peacock proud and honeymoon happy to stand in solidarity this day with our workers. We have here today not only pastors and faith-based organizations, we have here today members of Congress. We also are standing here with our workers here in the nation's capital. Ironically, Washington, D.C., the nation's capital is becoming the capital of income inequality. And with that being the case, we're saying no more. We can't take it anymore, and we won't take it anymore. Check this, the United States government 
is the biggest purchaser of goods and services in our economy, spending $1 trillion, $1 trillion annually, and that makes it the biggest job creator in America. But instead of creating good jobs, don't miss that word, they're good jobs through federal contracting, our tax money is being used to create millions of low wage jobs. It's almost as if the federal government is trying to compete with Walmart and McDonald's in the creation of low paying jobs. And we are saying no more America. We're better than that. And so the question is, where is our money going? One trillion dollars. It's not going into the pockets of our workers who are working low-wage jobs without benefits. Instead, the money is going into the pockets of the have-gots, the CEOs and the executives at the top of the chain. And we are saying this country is better than that. We have a responsibility of spreading the wealth of ra around. Yeah. I said it. We need to spread it to those who find themselves working hard every single day without benefits. America, we are better than that and we must do better. This is dead wrong and we're standing against that system this day. Tony Campolo puts it like this. If there was an outbreak of malaria, do you mean to tell me we would satisfy ourselves simply with spraying the mosquitoes and giving medication to those who are suffering? No. We we would have the good sense to go to the swamp and there the swamp where the malaria outbreak took place we would take care of the swamp because that's the cause of it what are we saying we're saying today we want to do more than just give a, a nice handout due to the fact it's Martin Luther King Jr's 50th anniversary of I have a dream no we don't want the dream to end August 28th we want the dream to continue and we want to put an end to the nightmare our workers are facing in this country and so We've gathered here today, the pastors of the Samuel DeWitt Proctor Conference, and we are proud to stand in solidarity with low-wage workers who are doing high, 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 high and wonderful jobs. And we're saying we want to create a good jobs nation. These workers are banding together from coast to coast, and we are calling on President Barack Obama, a former community organizer. You know what it's like to work in solidarity with those who are suffering. We're calling on you, Mr. President, to take a stand with low-wage workers, do the right thing, and make sure that we begin to narrow the gap between the greedy and the needy. That's why we are here on this day.